Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yep, this is me coming to you guys with a uh, another uh, quick um, everyday look, basically. Um, yeah, I did do uh, one eye. Try to make this, uh, you know, a little faster. So we're just going to jump into this real quick and I tell you guys uh, what I did. I'm going to do this eye, the same as this eye here. So today we're trying to go for a um, an everyday look, but using um, gray tone colors this time. So, yeah, I got to practice on my gray tone colors, but hey, I think it came out pretty, pretty okay. So what I'm going to do is... Um, Tell you guys the palette that I uh, went in with. This is the uh, Modern Nude palette here. These are the two colors that I will be working with on this one. And the next palette I will show you guys as I go along. So right now, guys, I'm going to take my Smudger Brush by e.l.f. It looks like that. And I'm going to go into that uh, dark gray color. It's almost like a black, but it's not exactly a black color, guys. So I'm just going to take this and put this right here in the crease. Like so. Just pat a little bit of that on. Like I say, one of my eyes always turn out better than the other one. I bet you this one's going to turn out better than that one. So I'm just putting that right in there. Let's get a little bit more because we're going to blend this out. Just packing that on like so. So we're going to take a uh, Morphe blending brush and blend that out like so. It will get a little lighter as you blend that out. Now I'm going to go down a brush and I'm going to go into that light gray. I hope you guys can see this gray color on. I'm covering that up like so. Yeah, you guys can see it a little bit. So just placing that gray right above that uh, dark gray line. I noticed one and bringing it up just a little bit right in there. So, I know you guys are probably, oh, what am I saying? Lord have mercy. What I'm trying to say, you have to go, you know, very lightly with these grays because you don't really want them to get muddy. Gray will get muddy on you real quick quick so I'm just trying to going back into that uh, black color well that dark dark gray color and I'm going to step that back into my um, crease real quick and I'm going to take some of that gray again and I'm going to blend that right on down okay guys very easy look just do a little blending here okay and we should be looking something like that okay guys what I'm gonna do next is go into this is by perfusion and this is a metallic a metallic palette nothing but metallics and I'm gonna use the brush that it came with so the uh, metallic gray right here, I'm going to take that right there and I'm going to put this, let me set that right there so I can pick back up my mirror. I'm just going to uh, put that in, pat it right on my eye like so. Yeah, picking this up with this brush. I think this is a synth 
pathetic brush I have. So I like the color. It's a dark gray and a metallic. Mm -hmm. I don't really have to put too much over there because I'm going to go back in with that dark gray just a little bit. Put some up here. Yeah, this is a nice palette, but you got to go back in it quite a few times to get uh, your color. But I'm satisfied with that. Now next I'm going to take a, hmm, nope, that's too big. Where's my smaller brush? Oh, right here. I'm going to go into a white metallic and I'm just going to tap that right into my inner V. Let's get some on this brush. Okay, there we go. See this side showed up way better than this side. Tap a little bit more over here. That's pretty. I like that metallic. So I'm just going to pat it just a little bit more. Blend it in with the other uh, dark gray. Do the other side. Okay, guys, then I'm going to take my smaller uh, brush, I think, and I'm going to go back into that matte dark gray. And I'm just going to tap that right on my outer bead like so. Just blend it in with that... Uh, gray metallic and that is it for that eye like so just tap it right on in and there we have it yep I kind of like the way that turned out yep I really do but once I put my liner on It'd be okay the goat has returned <laughs> yeah I'm doing a video real quick so just blending that in okay guys I'm gonna do the blend a little bit on this side again and then I'm gonna go in and put my liner on and I shall return. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I am back. Went on here and did my liner, threw my lashes on real quick in the foundation today. But what, what we're going to be going in with is um, Infallible. Yep. I think that's, yep. Infallible by L'Oreal. I have two colors here. Let me put on my glasses. And to tell you guys what colors that I have. I have 525. That is this one. And I have 530. And what color is there? I'm trying to find the color, guys. Well, it's infallible. 24, 24 hour wear. Wow. Okay, and these are the two. Now, I'm going to have to mix these two. You guys know it comes with the pump. So basically what I'm going to do with this one, take the lighter color. I'm going to put some on my... And put the lighter color... Like right where I will put my concealer at, basically. Just around there like so. And I'm going to take the darker color. I like when they have a pump on these. Because our skin is two tone. I think I only wore, wore this uh, well, 
Okay. I take my elf brush this time. And I'm going to blend this out. Mm -hmm. I didn't put too much on. Okay. Let's see how this wear. Again, I think I used this once. So I'm going to try it out again today. Mm -hmm. Let me get up here before this dry up. I'm turning the brush around to get around here. Okay, guys, just patting, 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 patting. All right, guys, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. Take off some excess. And let that dry down. So while we're letting that dry down, guys, I'm going to go in with the infallible. And this is, I think, a four, let me make sure, a 420. So this is what this color is right here, 420. So we're going to, guys, I really think this is a dupe for uh, the tart shape tape. Seriously. Seriously. Look at that almost the same color it's just a little bit uh darker so i'm just trying not to put too much of that on just enough to go up under there Okay, I'm going to take my uh, Beauty Blender and blend this all out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the way this blend out. This, to me, it blends out just like the tart. Really, guys. I think this really is a dupe. But hey, what am I to say? It performs just like it to me. I'm gonna have to get a tinier beauty blender and go up under there. And let that dry down. <laughs> And just blending, guys. Just blender. I like the color of it, though. All right, guys. I'm going to go off here, set this with the honey from Fenty Beauty. And then we will bronze and uh, put on lip gloss. All right, guys, let me get my honey out. I'm going to blend a little bit more, so stay tuned, guys. Be right back. Okay, guys, 
I tell you guys what all I did in a minute. I'm going to take the Lori Mercier powder. Just one little dip. Okay, I'm glad I put it there. <laughs> okay. Let's take some of that off of there. Okay. This guys know I always like to powder to bring all the shine down. Like so. And there we have that. Um, the lipstick I went in with um, Fenty Beauty uh, Diamond Milk and the Huda Beauty. This has specks of gold in it, but it didn't come out as gold. It came out like a more like a metallic color. So I mixed these two together, and that's this is the combination what I came up with as far as the lips. Um, wet and wow again I'm loving this one because it is so dark you know darker than the other highlights and it really really complements my complexion I like this I could say this would probably be a dupe a more affordable dupe for the um, the Mac um, gold deposit basically look at here guys they kind of almost uh look like the same color so yeah i'm liking this this is more of a uh, cheaper version of that i'm loving this right here in the um contour we went in i did not really do a uh contour i went in with uh mocha mommy uh, for my contour, I just put a little bit, you know, around where it, where it usually go, and that's what I did with this right here. So I didn't do no heavy contouring. You guys seen me go in with the uh, Lori Mercier powder right there, and I am all done. I'm gonna take my Morphe setting spray, guys. I'm. Like I said, I am loving this. It feel like it's nothing in this uh, jar. But it just go on so smooth. That's what I, I can't get, get enough of that. <laughs> but um, just going to dab a little bit here and there. Dab. Okay. And I took, took that... um mocha mommy and put it a little bit down my nose so it gives you a um a small little highlight also i mean it's not you know real heavy basically uh, a subtle 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 glow so here is the look right here guys yep i am really really liking that what I want to do though, because I'm used to using this powder, I'm going to take the MAC um, Studio Fix powder and just, because it still look like I got a shine in my face. I don't like that shine. <laughs> you know, so I'm just going to take that and just put that all around. That looks a lot better. Yeah, it looked like I had that, that shine going on. Okay. That's better. Because that's just a little bit lighter than the uh, Lori Mercier powder. Okay, back to my messy look again. <laughs> Alright, guys. Yeah, I'm getting ready to take this out of my hair. And uh, put back on my wig. <laughs> but I'm loving it though. It's been in, you know, for a little minute. And it um, seemed like the older it gets, the better it gets. See, I would have to cut these off like so. But guys, this is what we're looking like. I'm liking it. So basically the foundation in the um, concealer today 
was the L'Oreal Infallible. We played with that. This is the second time I played with it and I am enjoying it. So guys, if you're looking for a uh, affordable foundation and a concealer, like I say, the concealer is a dupe to me, Tarte Shape Tape. And the way this went on, this is like more like, um, I can say Mac or NARS. Yes. Yes. And it's 24 hour wear too, guys. Hey, you can't beat that. So let me come up a little closer so you guys can see what I did. I hope you guys like the look. Because this is going to go with my outfit for today. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you and connect with you in another video. Um, like I always say, go for what you want. Don't let nobody hold you down. Keep the faith and be safe out there. And uh, I will connect with you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. I'm liking this. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye-bye.